What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, sources are saying that it's a done deal for the highly anticipated, undisputed, heavyweight mega showdown between undefeated, former unified, two-time heavyweight world champion who currently is the reigning WBC heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, who has 33 wins, no losses, one draw, 24 big wins by way of knockout. He is 34 years of age, six foot nine with an 85 inch arm reach. He will be taking on Olympic gold medalist, two division world champion, former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, currently the reigning unified heavyweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Oleksandr Usyk, who has 20 wins, no losses, no draws, 13 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, six foot three with a 78 inch arm reach. Looks like from the reports that I'm hearing is that they will face each other March 4th, okay? March 4th, uh, it looks like they're going to face off against one another for a massive undisputed showdown. This is huge, right? Um, and so with that said, uh, uh, Tyson Fury, he just had another tune-up against Derek Sasora. Tyson Fury, he likes to stay active because Tyson Fury, uh, uh, he deals with, with mental health issues and staying active is the way to keep him grounded. So Tyson Fury, he likes to stay active. Uh, he likes to stay busy. Oleksandr Usyk, who defeated Tyson Fury's fellow countrymen, two-time unified heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Anthony Joshua, who has 24 wins, uh, three losses, no draws, uh, 22 wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 32 years of age, six foot six with a 82 inch arm reach. Oleksandr Usyk, he beat him back to back fights, uh, dominated uh, Oleksandr Usyk, I mean, excuse me, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury's uh, um, fellow countryman. He's also, you know, uh, uh, the Muhammad Ali trophy winner. He won the tournament and he became undisputed at Cruiserweight. Uh, so after he beat Anthony Joshua in August, Tyson Fury, <clears throat> he wanted to go right into the undisputed showdown with uh, uh, Oleksandr Usyk in December, okay? But Oleksandr Usyk, uh, he was having none of, him, none of it. He said that he wanted to relax. Obviously, he was dealing with a lot, uh, dealing with, you know, the situation between the Ukraine and Russia. Uh, it was looking like he wasn't even gonna fight this year. But he, he turned out that he fought Anthony Joshua, uh, um, fulfilled his obligation to rematch with Anthony Joshua. And uh, Oleksandr Usyk, he said that he was going to take the rest of the year off. And that's exactly what he did. Tyson Fury wasn't happy about that. Tyson Fury uh, then tried to make a fight happen between uh, himself and Anthony Joshua, whom Oleksandr Usyk beat back-to-back -back fights, a fellow countryman, uh, all British showdown in the UK, which would have been huge. And that fell through. Uh, then he ended up fighting Derek Sasora in a, for a trilogy. Okay, um, with that said, um, Tyson Fury, you know, um, he wants to become undisputed, right? He wants to face the biggest fighter he possibly can. Uh, Tyson Fury wants to solidify himself as the best heavyweight of this era. You know, uh, he fought and beat Deontay Wilder. He fought and beat uh, Dillian White. Uh, now he gets the opportunity. He fought and beat Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, he wanted to fight Anthony Joshua and and you know, he wants to you know secure the biggest fights he possibly can right and so with that said, you know Tyson Fury you know uh, um, he looks at this situation as uh, Not just for legacy. He, he he doesn't come off as he wants to build up his legacy You know just wants to fight the best and beat the best. He just likes to fight right uh, Olison Usyk is a southpaw. He's fighting for legacy, right? Uh, he wants to be, he wants to uh, surpass that of uh, um, Hall of Fame iconic retired future, uh, uh, Hall of Fame iconic superstar boxer and uh, Evander the Real Deal Holyfield. So he wants to surpass Evander Holyfield, right? And um, uh, Evander Holyfield was an undisputed cruiserweight and then he was an undisputed heavyweight. You know, uh, and you know, Oleksandr Usyk is trying to surpass that of Van Holyfield, uh, which is going to be difficult because I don't think that he could beat Tyson Fury. Uh, it looks like this fight is going to take place over in uh, Saudi Arabia, right? Uh, that's that's what it's looking like. It's going to be over in Saudi Arabia, and it's looking like um, 
uh, they're going to raise the pay-per-view prices which uh, according to some reports I read the fans are not happy in the UK they're going from $24 a whopping $24 to $45 it's going from a whopping $24 to $45 and the fans in the UK are not happy with that that's like $55 here in the States our pay-per-views are normally $70 and they're, they're, they're upset that it's going to be you know, uh, for undisputed with two undefeated heavyweights uh, and legacy on the line, their fans are upset that it's going to be forty-five dollars. In the states, we got to pay seventy seventy-five dollars for standard. You got to pay eighty-five dollars if you want it in HD. If you want to see it clear, and yet the fans are complaining in the UK about having to pay uh, uh, an extra twenty bucks, right? Uh, so with that said, you know, um, this is huge, right? Um, and then you have Olympic bronze medalist, former WBC American heavyweight world champion, superstar boxer, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Looks like he's going to face off against um, uh, former unified heavyweight world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, Andy Ruiz Jr., uh, as they fight for the WBC mandatory title eliminator. But on top of that, you got to keep in mind that Deontay Wilder is also uh, uh, now ranked in other uh, sanctioned bodies. He's, he's never been, you know, uh, maybe early in his career before he fought for the WBC title against uh, um, Bermain Stavern. Deontay Wilder hasn't been able to secure or fight for those other belts in his entire career. So he's going to face off against Andy Ruiz Jr., um, as the WBC has ordered that fight so that Deontay Wilder, you know, um, can possibly, I think that Anthony Tyson Fury beats Ole Sander Usyk, we might see a fourth fight between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. That's going to be huge, right? Um, and, uh, uh, you know, um, if Ty you know, if all, f all plays out the way, you know, it, it looks like it could play out, we could definitely see that. That's going to be huge, right? So with that said, um, we got to see how it unfolds and plays out. But I personally think that Tyson Fury uh, being so big, man, six inches taller than Usyk. Uh, Usyk, he has a seven-inch arm reach advantage over Usyk. Uh, Usyk is going to come in weighing about 225 pounds. Tyson Fury is going to come in about 270 pounds. He's going to come in to max weight so he can use his size to lay on all the same Usyk. So he's going to be... Uh, about 50 pounds heavier than Ola Sander Usyk. The difference is uh, Tyson Fury knows how to use that size. Yes, Anthony Joshua is 6'6", right? Uh, he has an 82-inch arm reach, 4-inch arm reach advantage over Usyk. Uh, he's 6'6", 3-inch height advantage over Usyk. Uh, he came in about 240 pounds, so he didn't outweigh him that much. But he's definitely bigger than Usyk. But Anthony Joshua is more of a stationary target. Right, he's uh, um, very fundamentally sound, uh, but he's very predictable. He's not very nimble on his feet. He doesn't have very fast hands, but he does have power. And he did hand hurt Ole Sander Usyk in the second fight a few times, right? Uh, and shockingly, he hurt Usyk to the body, right? You know that means he had to bend down and to dig down, and he did so. And there was a time where I thought, I'm like, man, Joshua might stop Ole Sander Usyk, right? Um, but nonetheless, he didn't, and he lost, right? But Tyson Fury is a different task. He's a different beast. Tyson Fury is, um, he is uh, six foot nine, 200, 270 pounds, with an 85 inch arm reach, but he moves like a dancing bear. He's very light on his feet, quick hands, right? Uh, now it comes out, it don't come out the most uh, uh, clean and, and orchestrated, right? It comes out a bit sloppy, and unorthodox, right? That's because you're dealing with a guy that tall and that rangy, right? The same goes for Deontay Wilder, right? People say Deontay Wilder looks sloppy. Well, he's six foot seven with an 83 inch arm reach. So, you know, he's not going to look very coordinated, and neither is Tyson Fury, right? Anthony Joshua looks coordinated, but he looks slow and he looks like a statue. And because he's focused on his fundamentals, because he's focused on being coordinated and being accurate and being, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, orchestrated with his style, right? So he looks very 
slow. He looks very predictable, and he is very predictable. That's not the case with Tyson Fury. He uses a flicking jab to blind you, right hand behind it. Uh, uh, you know, he leans on you, lays on you, uses his weight to, to weigh you down. He's definitely going to do that with Usyk. And Usyk, he fatigues. He fatigues trying to stay away from these big guys. He, he got tired trying to stay away from Joshua in both fights, which gave Joshua more and more opportunities. So uh, uh, Tyson Fury lays on you with all that weight, and you know, all of a sudden Usyk is going to fatigue. And trust me, Tyson Fury cuts off the ring very well. So uh, all of a sudden the Usyk movement, uh, his jabs to the body, you know, that could slow Tyson Fury down. But ultimately, Tyson Fury is going to lay on him. He's going to use his tactics. He's going to wear Usyk down. And I believe he's going to beat Ola Santa Usyk. He might even stop Ola Santa Usyk. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon and get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.